So today is Into Me See, which is really cool. <laughs> so I know our last time was like playful togetherness and we got into, you know, the blockages, but Into, into Me See is kind of like intimacy. And you know how different people, we show different faces or different aspects of ourselves because it just feels like that's what we need to do. And so in that, there's still a place where we're just not really authentically ourselves. So, you know, of course, some people, there's reasons why we aren't just totally 100% ourselves, because we really do need to have dis discernment and we don't share everything with everybody. And yet there's still like an authentic self that we do want to always be. You know what I mean? It's like, sure, we don't, you know, there's certain things like good best friends, we show these faces and business people, we show this face and all that, and that's all good. And there's still, even though there, with that, there's still a little bit of a, like a barrier. So what we really want is we want barriers gone and also just the ability to just have that discernment. Like, you know, this is a, someone who has a lot of judgments and fears and it's like, you know, some things we just don't share, which is normal. Okay, but also in our close relationships, in our intimate relationships, in our, our friends' relationships, there's always a different, different experience that we have. But basically, when I look at, the, like the most of humanity, there is a, a, like a barrier um, that goes beyond even the discernment. Okay, and this is the barrier that I also want to start working with today. And that barrier, is actually a place of hiding of, this is a, has a lot to do with some past lives and past lives where, for example, people like myself, I, I had an experience the other night. I don't know if you guys are, I know I'm going a little bit, this is still all part of it. Has anybody ever had a reaction to seeing people burned? Do you know what I mean? Like the witch thing, being burned, you could feel in your body. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you still got it? Okay, so, so right there, just that right there makes it totally unsafe to show, share with people who you are. Yes. Okay, you, you know that. Okay, how about, have, has anybody ever witnessed or seen or heard about or really know what stoning is? <laughs> okay, yeah, I still need some clearing on that one. I saw the one, I saw a movie, it was called The Stoning of Sarah, I don't remember her last name. It was shocking. I, I, in my mind, I thought stoning was, okay, they put you there and people throw stones at you. No. Oh. Has anybody ever seen it? Anybody know stoning? You guys, okay. As I explain it, feel what happens in your body. It's already happening. It's already happening. Okay, so what they do is they dig a hole in the ground and they, they basically bind your, like this, so that when they put you in the ground, you're like up to above the waistline with your arms like this. Oh my God. And then they throw stones, and the stones can't be too big, and they can't be too small, because they want to cause damage, but they want it to be a slow death, at least a half an hour of being stoned. Okay, so there's nowhere to go. You can't get away from anything, because you are bound, okay? So that kind of death, is definitely going to create, it's unsafe to let people know who you are, okay? And then we even, you know, not everybody has been some kind of healer or not everybody has had some kind of uh, discrimination or, or uh, well, actually, you know, on some level that's not true because even in the state, in the sense of enslavement or anything where you have been harmed and damaged physically, to the point that caused death because of who you are, you're going to have hiding. You know, like, you know what I mean? It's like, don't, don't know who I am. It's like, it's not safe. Okay. And that's going to present even in your most intimate relationships, you know, your closest, your husbands, your wives, your lovers, your, you know, your really, really, really intimate relationships. And cleaning out all these past lives, it is a little bit of a journey. That's why the idea of having the membership where you can listen to clearings over and over, it just goes deeper and deeper into different layers and different layers. So in the clearing of past lives, 
you know, we can, it's more accelerated now than it's ever been, but it's still, we can't clear out every single lifetime that you've had. If you've had hundreds, 500, 700, 1,000 lifetimes, you know, we're not going to call them all up and just clear them all. It's just, we, it just isn't going to happen. I know. <laughs> I know. Kind of a bummer. I'm working on it. <laughs> I keep asking, okay, show me how we can accelerate even more, even more. So at least now, at least I can do many, several, but not the entire, okay? And anything that causes us to be afraid is going to also create those energy blocks where it's like not okay, unsafe, unsafe. So what we want is not to have that grab in the belly. Like when I say getting stoned or getting burned, some of you are feeling that in your body, right? So that is an unconscious memory. It's also in the soul imprint. So when you're in life and you want to just be your divine self and especially the healer that you are, if there's still any remnants or any past lives that are still in your energy field that, where the trauma is still there, that is, that is still going to affect you. And it's also um, like being tortured or, because I'm tortured is presenting, so pe somebody's been tortured, so I'm seeing that. <laughs> tortured. <laughs> like, okay, so remember, well, part of you will remember. Remember all, all those things they did to people, like on the stretching thing, mm -hmm. where they'd stretch <laughs> to your, everything would pop out. Mm -hmm. And those things where they'd close to seal you with spikes coming in, do you feel that one too? Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we got a lot of different experiences where it's just not safe. You know, hide, hide, hide who you are. And then, of course, we also have not just that, but remember, if you have any kind of traumas, sometimes there's implants in the body that maintain a certain frequency to keep you at that level of trauma, of fear, because... It's just a, you know, it's an experiment. They're tracking you to see, can you break through it? If you, what about if you have this implant in there holding you, keeping you stuck in this recycle, recycle, same old, same old. And then they, you know, it's like it could go on for lifetimes. And then of course, you know, the powers of darkness, there's massive amounts of interference around those. And it's interesting, but you know, like different, different issues, you know what I mean? Different fears or different concerns where it just feels unsafe, definitely have many different kinds of components. Like, you know, like I'm doing work with people and you get, you clear certain issues and they feel really great and then something else presents and then we start tracking that and it's like, whoa, it just opens up like a whole new can of worms, so to speak. And, and then clearing that, the good news is, is each, you know, each clearing does make a difference and you do feel lighter. And with the acceleration that we're in, we don't have the opportunity where a year or two would go by before the next issue would pop up. Now it's like, do a clearing, you feel really good, and then boom, you can feel that next layer coming up immediately. That's the acceleration. That's the times we're in. Because the opportunity is, in this lifetime, is to clear a lot. You know, to clear everything, I don't know that that's really going to happen. And you can feel, though, that, each, that things do get better, don't they? You know, you feel your life changing and you feel yourself more freer and more able to just be who you are, right? And, and you know, it's like we got all this, these memories that are still with us. So um, by clearing out even in the soul imprint and going really, really deep into the subconscious, uh, more and more gets released. So the... the the area of being seen and you know like just looking and like like if someone looks in your eyes and you just stand and just do the eye gazing thing stuff will present you'll start to feel anxious or you'll feel different energies or different feelings or different emotions or different thoughts and you can feel where it feels uncomfortable you know so that's just an indicator that there's more things inside sometimes there will not sometimes, there will always, always be other entities inside the body. Always. Okay? If there's an issue, if there's a, anything at all, whatever that emotion is, whatever that is, energy attracts energy. And there's going to be a lot more in there. Okay? And then, once again, to clearing all the entities out of the body, if we did a mass clearing, you wouldn't know who you are. It would be traumatizing. 
So we, you know, we do layers. That's why we do things in layers. That's why, that's why we do different topics. So we pick a topic, we clear out that energy, you feel shifted and change. Next piece arises and then, you know, clear that out. So it's an opportunity to basically just keep clearing all the, the debris. And <clears throat> intimacy, into me see. It means like, okay, there's <laughs> look at, look. There's nothing, nothing to hide, okay? But you can feel a discomfort, okay? Most people have some kind of discomfort. Um, remember how people, a lot of people like standing up in front of a group, like a big group. Sometimes, you know, they do workshops on that. They do seminars on that. There's all kinds of programs on that because what's happening is when you stand up in front of people at a subconscious level, not in your conscious mind, whatever's buried inside starts to get stirred up and it feels as though it's about, oh, all the people, you're standing up in front of all these people. No, it's about the exposure of what you don't know is inside. So it creates a discomfort, it, creates ter it can create terror. Especially if, if, if uh, you were harmed by groups of people, which I think on some level almost everybody has had a time when they have been hurt, they have been turned on, they have been ostracized, they have been judged and in that they've been killed okay so that lives inside of humanity it also hits into that collective consciousness like when we track that energy there's a massive grid of that in the collective consciousness so as we start clearing what's inside of us and, and start unplugging from some of these grids you know some of the cording into the grids then that also helps you to just really just be who you are just being in that place of trust and everything's going to be okay. And then of course, <laughs> you know, the body's going to die. That's the bottom line. So the, because the body is an organism, it also creates a frequency of anxiety or fear around the potential of danger, potential of death. Okay. Cause it's like anything, everything's programmed to live. Everything's programmed to survive. You cut trees down and little roots come up. You know what I mean? It's like everything is programmed. And the body too is an organism and that houses your soul and, and yet it is also programmed. Every, you know, cutting yourselves, injuries, all kinds of stuff. Everything comes in to start survival, survival, survival. So your organism is programmed to survive. So when that organism has been damaged, that gets anchored into the seat of the soul, the memory of that, so to speak, comes forward. And then we want to start clearing things out. And even if you're looking at stuff with children or, um, you know, just people in life, people with coworkers, just about anything, you know, like even at where people work and if you feel the danger with someone, you can feel a, a fear, you can feel the need to protect, you can feel that desire to, you know, to put up some protection or not, you know, don't let them know who you are. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Especially when you're working at organizations that have hardcore belief systems, you know, and those are structures, structured places. Um, yeah. I mean, even, even, even simple things like, you know, how we have like um, veterans of foreign wars and, and uh, the, I'm just thinking of these different buildings that I see, the, the, uh, the Moose Lodge and things like that. These are organizations that have a, really a mainstream awareness. And so for us, there was, they wouldn't really get who we are. They'd probably think we're like evil people or something, or we're you know, doing something that's in, in the forces of darkness. And the truth is, is we're, we're actually bringing light. But you know, the, the meeting ground doesn't meet because they, they just don't have that awareness. So it becomes dangerous. You don't tell everybody who you are. But what we're looking for is it's okay to not tell everything. And what we want is not to have the anxiety or the, the punch in the belly or the shock in the belly, things like that. So that it becomes, yeah, this is who I am. And this is the part of me you get to experience, but there's a peacefulness inside. We want that peacefulness inside. So I can feel that there's a, a pretty good light up, so to speak, a pretty good energy happening in, inside of people's bodies right now. 
Okay, so this is good. <laughs> I mean, it's good in the sense of it shows me what's happening. It may not feel good for you, but you know, it makes you feel nauseous, it makes your belly feel like whacked, you know, anxiety kind of stirring. Okay. All right. So um, basically, what you want to do is in the lighting things up, because remember, as you feel into, into energy and you let yourself feel the emotion of it, that lights up what's inside and it, it shows me what's in your energy field. So we want to do that. And also, as you feel into an emotion, once you're just hanging with that and being with a, a, um, the, the top layer, because remember, your top layer is your con you're aware of that feeling. What you're not aware of is the layers that go deeper. And the way to access deeper is just be with, let that be there, stay with it. And then you take your awareness, you can actually, it's, it's actually kind of a trip, but you can do it. You just take your awareness and you go underneath that layer, that next layer. And then, you know, we want to go as deeply as you can because each layer is going to present different aspects of what's in your energy field, what's blocking you and it will show what it is like you know what, and and also all facets of the of what we do clearing work with are going to be there like i said implants entities past lives dark force interferences perpetrator energies thought forms beliefs shock trauma shock trauma all of that is going to be in the energy field so you know so as you light that up it just shows it even more